Rick of a Genie. Today we are not doing a tutorial, it's more of a cosplay tip. I'm going to show you how to make artificial gems for your costumes. For example, over here you can see Melina has this gem and there are multiple costumes. For example, I had this gem for my crystal maiden that goes on her face. You guys can go ahead and go for ready-made gems that you can find on the store, but sometimes it can be hard to find the color or shape gem that you need. As you can see, there's a difference between the two of them. This one's a little more sparkly while this one is more glassy. I'm going to show you how to make your own gems. The easiest and most common way of doing so is raisin casting. So you take your clay raisin like this and then you can paint the base with nothing but as simple as nail paints. This gives a shine and gloss. Now I took a plastic spoon over here and I painted parts of it. There are two kinds of nail polishes, shimmer and chrome sparkles. As you can see, I'm using it on my nails as well. So this, what it does is, it gives your gem that shine and the color. You guys can go ahead and mix match. Another way of doing so is plastic bottles. Now this is a great way of doing it if you're going to put LEDs underneath it. That way the LED will bounce through the clearness. But if you don't plan on doing an LED, then you can take a plastic ball, cut it out in your shape you want and then just paint it with the base of what you want and add the shimmer using a nail paint. I'm just going to do a little bit of it here as you can see. You can see the difference between the part where I put the shimmer and uh, the other part. So this is one way of doing so. I did my Crystal Maiden head pendant in the same manner. Another way is using transparent bobla. For shapes that are integrate and hard to find on plastic ball or something, you can use transparent bobla. And I painted it using glass paint. You guys can again take in your nail paint and paint it on the inside or the outside depending on how much gloss and effect you want. Now, as you can see on the inside, you can see if you want this sort of effect, you paint it on the outside. But if you want to have an LED sparkling through it, if I put an LED in it right here, it will gloss the light out of it. I'm just going to show it to you right now. Now, think of this torch as your LED and that's how it will bounce off. Obviously, the torch is not as strong as an LED, but you guys can get the idea. Same thing goes for your resin. Once you put the LED in, it will bounce off. So that was the simplest way of doing it. I'm just going to show you the plastic spoon that I did earlier and show you how that bounces off. There you go. It looks like this on when I paint it on the inside. This is how it will look if I paint it on the outside. And that's it. And that's simply, that's it. So this is how you can make your own gem cast, your own resin cast, or if you don't have resin, using any plastic ball for your costumes. This was a pro tip. I will be back with more cosplay tutorials and content for you guys here on Cosplay Genie. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit that bell button so you get notified for the next video. This is Orin signing off and I'll see you guys soon. Bye bye.